This is my reveal for the July 2022 BoxyCharm Premium Subscription Box. First up, we have my choice. This is by Bare Minerals, the Complexion Rescue. It's a tinted hydrating gel cream in my skin tone. Then I got the Otra Conditioner and Shampoo, their uh, CBD product. I have a lipstick by Uoma Beauty Icon. This is a dark brown shade. It has a nice magnetic clasp. Then I got by Avant. This is a cleanser. It is their Blue Volcanic Stone Purifying and Antioxidizing Cleansing Gel. I got a set of beauty sponges. This is by Luxie. And finally, I got the Lunar Beauty. This is their Nude Prism Eyeshadow Palette. The, to open, the shades are pretty beautiful, I think. So all in all, I'm really happy about my box. Um, well, scratch that. I don't know that I'd say really happy, but starting with the eyeshadows, I think that the shades are pretty darn amazing, um, at least looking. So I'm just gonna take a quick swatch here of the color. They seem really pigmented. I've really been into nudes. This is this bottom shade here lately. And it even has a black, which is nice because I really like to do a smoky eye a lot of the time. It's a little subtle, I'd say. Not super pigmented, but the metallic shadows are pretty nice. Yeah. Seems like there wouldn't be too much fallout with them. Um, the shampoo and conditioner set, I've seen this for a very long time on BoxyCharm's website. Like, I've almost bought it a bunch of times, but sort of held myself back from it. Um, the, the description says, it healthy hair begins with a healthy scalp. So um, I think these were, they got like four star reviews on Boxy's website. So I needed a shampoo and conditioner anyway. I was out, so I'm happy to try them. This lipstick, I got really excited when I looked at the box. I mean, it just looks like it's gonna be awesome. The color on the end, wherever it went, is not at all indicative. It's called Tracy. It's not at all indicative of the color on the inside. And I did try this. I've, it's like, it just looks brown, honestly. It looks like it's got a little, like a burnt brick, really muted brick red shade. Um, but it was, yeah, I guess it is, maybe depending on how you put it on. But I have such fair skin and I'm just not into the brown lipsticks. I wish they would never send me brown lipsticks and I've gotten a lot of brown lipsticks with the subscription boxes. Um, this cleanser, it looks, I don't know, it looks a little um, liquidy. Like I hope it doesn't just wanna squirt all out the second I go to use it, but I'm interested in the ingredients. Um, on the back it says it has cocoa in it, uh, which is an antioxidant copper to improve skin elasticity. Um, you know, so I don't know, I'll give it a try. This is one of those brands, I think it's a BoxyCharm brand. Um, some of the sub boxes start their own like lines and you can't really find much about them online, but the products are super expensive, at least the list prices are. And then of course they sell them for dirt cheap and you feel like you're getting an amazing deal, but are they really worth what they say like for instance this is worth $110 MSRP $110 for this I don't know guys I'm not convinced but I am honestly excited to try it um, this was really the only reason I paid for my premium subscription this month I've been a member of BoxyCharm for going on a year now and I have so much of every kind of skincare and makeup product imaginable and I don't know that I really need any more but I have a, I use the foundation by um, uh, Yensa, which I think is incredible. And I just figured, you know, hey, Bare Minerals, I've seen this name a lot, you know, maybe I'll just try something new. And I liked it actually. It seemed a little lighter for summer. Um, I think the Yensa is better for any season except maybe summer. It just, my skin can get almost oily looking a little with it and maybe this is going to be a little bit better 
this is definitely like thinner um, consistency. So let me see if I can kind of show you on my hand. And I, I don't know, I don't think I picked the right shade. I also don't have a free finger that doesn't have some eyeshadow on it really, but I mean, that kind of blends away like almost invisible. Like you can't even see it. Maybe there's like a very slight sheen to it, light reflecting. It's not like too outrageous or anything. I feel like, and I did put some on myself today and it looks pretty natural. As far as the beauty sponges go, I've been getting a lot of them lately between Ipsy and Boxy. And uh, I guess, you know, it's helpful to have extras because if I leave this somewhere uh, the dog can reach, she loves to chew my makeup sponges. So <laughs> I already lost one that way, but hey, it's good to have. It's good to have extras. Anyway, thanks for watching.